that love strong Just like a love song Baby, it's haunting me Don't know what you're thinking It's like I'm sinking Deep underwater Maybe it's harder 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 for me Oh Harder for me Maybe we're over it Or maybe just lovers Cause under the covers Baby, you're showing me to be fearless, so no one can hear us. You throw in the bed, us through the floor. Now put your love in, love in. This catfish is like Kim Kardashian after a breakup. It's just completely falling apart. Maybe you won't see me hey, good morning, guys. It's uh, currently 5 30 in the morning. For some reason, I just can't sleep past like 4 30 or something. I don't know if it's the excitement or what. It's gonna be another long day. Um, Today we're going to take them to Dogwood Canyon, which is about an hour away from here. Uh, they're going to get on a trolley, so I'm going to have some downtime by myself in the bus. I might take a nap. We'll see how it plays out. I'm going to finish getting dressed, and then uh, let's go check out what the breakfast scene looks like. You keep me wondering, is our love strong? Just like a love song, baby, it's haunting me. Don't know what you're thinking It's like I'm sinking deep underwater Maybe it's harder Good morning Where's breakfast at? Where is breakfast? Yes. It is downstairs in the bistro And okay. it starts at 6.30 a.m. But Thanks. there's a coffee bar there if you want some coffee right now Okay, appreciate it So breakfast is until 6.30 Which means I have about half a, an hour before breakfast is served So Let's just go pre-trip the bus. Oh, it's cold outside today. I love the fact that you put the blind control buttons on the steering wheel. I mean, this is this is really cool. I can lower the blinds by pushing the button and the blinds come down. And with the right side, I can do the same as well. But based on this diagram, to make it go up, you push the upper portion of this, but it keeps coming down. That's really deceiving so when I'm driving and I want to raise the blinds all of a sudden I blind myself because I think I'm pushing the up position and this thing keeps going down till I can't see the road anymore what you actually need to do is double press it for it to go up watch now it's going up okay great concept great idea but nothing on the steering wheel indicates that it's a double press it looks like you're supposed to push up you should put a 2x and uh, next to this upward thing otherwise when you're driving 70 miles an hour down the road and uh, you think you're raising the blinds all of a sudden you lower it in, in your face further uh, that could cause problems so I, I would say change the button don't make it up arrow down arrow make it down arrow and up arrow times two yeah, just just the thought the way I actually raised them during that uh, terrifying uh, 45 seconds um, where I started slowing down because I couldn't see there are these two that also control the blinds and I'm glad I glanced there and found them uh, to make them go up it wasn't until after I arrived at the destination and got to play with it a little more that I realized that it's that if you want to control it via steering wheel you uh, double press kind of not intuitive Okay guys, it's 6.34 right now. I uh, got the bus pre-tripped. I think the breakfast bar is open. Let's go check out the breakfast bar. Morning, how are you? Doing well. How are you? Just a GoPro. Good? Hey, good morning.
grits with sugar, that's my guilty pleasure. This is Shane, he's my server. <laughs> he's from Jamaica and he's been here a month. He doesn't have kids yet, but he misses his parents. <laughs> well, if anyone wants to get married to me, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's light outside, it's not dark anymore. Gonna get some paperwork done and get the day started. Yeah, thanks for the guidance. Yes, sir. I pulled in, I saw that sign, don't even think about it. Yeah, I was like, yeah. whoops. We always meet them up top yeah. and bring them down the exit. Well, we got a couple of trams coming for your people. Awesome, wow. Well, here's that's, Nancy, that's... she'll take good care of you guys. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. That was a heck of a drive here. I don't know if you guys saw that, you probably did. But... So we just arrived, they'll be disembarking here. They're gonna get on this tram and then we're gonna hang out with the bus. It's beautiful here. We're probably gonna do some walking. with them. Uh, I didn't think I'd get invited with them, but we're gonna <laughs> ride in this thing. Uh, it's gonna haul my passengers in the back. And I just locked up the bus, so we're going along with the adventure. This could be awesome. finish the tour but this area is just beautiful if you've never been to uh, Dogwood Canyon before I definitely recommend that you do so we're gonna walk to the coach and get it fired up uh, we got to drive that windy trail back into Branson and I think our next stop is to the uh, the uh, oh I forgot the name the university the college here Ozark Ozark College yeah I think that's it
All right, uh, just parked the bus. We are at the Keter Center uh, at a place called Hard Work University, University of Ozarks. There he is, Karen Hello. his camera, bro. Yes. <laughs> Will I join you folks? You may. <laughs> Lunch was delicious. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that chicken with the demi glaze was pretty on par. So the group's gonna mingle around here for a little bit. Um, I have 15 minutes to bring the bus up, so I'm gonna go warm the or cool the bus down and get it ready for the group. Thank you. Dinner was delicious. So guys, as I was saying before, everybody that goes to school here works their way through. And Cindy just taught me that they have a motto and they call this place Hard Work You, yep. which is brilliant because, yes. so they don't have any debt when nope. they leave. Nope, they work their way through all of the different, they have a hotel, they have a restaurant, catering. It's all farm. student run. Yes, I mean a full campus of different businesses that students do all the positions. Our waiters today were 18 years old. They've been at college wow. for two months and they did a beautiful job. They and really this, teach you good. Is this basically class time for them? Well, they have classes too. Okay. So this is their part-time jobs. They work 20 to 30 hours in their job and go to school full-time and study. Too many universities teach their students that when you get out of college, you should have a desk job and make $100,000 a year. Yeah. And it just sets a very unrealistic exactly. mentality. And this place, it's beautiful the way they teach kids yes. that whether you have a degree or not, you gotta grunt your way up. Yes. Okay, so we're in the middle of our uh, tour right now of the College of the Ozarks, and we had a student guide on board, and uh, the group just got off. Everything here is student operated. Uh, students have to work 15 hours a week to pay for their tuition, and their tuition is completely free, and they finish college with the work ethic and knowing how to manage their time, at the same time, they come out debt-free because they worked. There's a dairy farm right back there that's student-operated, and the milk that's served in the cafeterias is produced by the student workers that work there. So it's kind of like a self-sustaining little atmosphere. The lessons that are lacking from uh, a lot of people coming out of college could be remedied here. In order for a student to get a job here, they actually have to go through an interview process. They have to go through the career office and they interview for whatever they want to do while they're here. So again, they learn the value of going through interviews. People come out of here with applicable skills. So the group just went into a chapel. This is the second stop on our tour, but I found this basketball court. I'm gonna shoot some hoops. Stick to my driving job. Passengers are back. I better get back to the bus. I was. Iceberg straight ahead. told me this ship won't sink. Okay. <laughs> It's 
comfortable as the Prevost seat. Bill, you want to turn? We need this. this oh, no. oh no! <laughs> that that'll be good on social media. All right, we're gonna move the bus and we're going to eat. Let's move the bus because I'm hungry. Hello. Hi, what can I get? Catfish plate, please. That's good catfish. This catfish is like Kim Kardashian after a breakup. It's just completely falling apart. Baked beans are really good. Really smoky. That coleslaw is really good too. Very creamy. I don't like coleslaw with like the acidic flavor. A lot of coleslaws I feel like too acidic. I love KFC's coleslaw. Have you guys ever had coleslaw from KFC? I really like that coleslaw. This, this reminds me of that. We're here. Uh, they're going in. I'm gonna hang out here for a while and I'll go in a little bit. Branson is definitely motor coach central. I mean, this town makes its money with motor coach traffic. It's a town of 10,000 people, but when there's buses here and there's tourism, there's over 100,000 people in this town. It's not airplanes that bring them here, it's not boats, it's not ships, it's motor coaches, which is why motor coach operators are treated so nice here and you know what it's that's awesome because that doesn't happen enough bus drivers typically gets treated like third-class citizens I hate to say that but this is it's true uh, most places when you pull up they hate it when buses pull up people shoo you out I mean motor coaches are big they take up a lot of space parking space that cars could take up um, they tear up the uh, asphalt. So most most of the time anywhere else in the country you go to, you know, they kind of make you feel unwelcome. But down here, they welcome you. My group's in there watching the show. I might go in and check it out. I hope they weren't waiting on me. I told them I'd be in there, but uh, then my wife called. No offense to the group, but I'd rather spend some time chatting with my family because I messed them. Maybe you won't see me get in and sometimes I pretend I'm just above it all But I want you lying next to me Yeah, I want your body, body, body too Yeah, body too And baby, please don't think I run away from you It's just sometimes I get scared to dive into it I want you lying next to me yeah, I want your body, body, your body too Yeah, body too Will you be my ride or die? Around all these people will try to be someone better than you and I Posing for pictures but nobody listens to anything that you have to say Can we just leave and walk away? Walk away, walk away above it all but i want you lying next to me yeah i want your body 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 too yeah body too 